guys welcome back to my channel or welcome in today's video we are gonna be making a video on things i didn't expect before becoming a mum i do actually have a couple from my partner dustin as well so basically things that we didn't expect before becoming parents yeah if you don't know we've got this little bundle of joy here this is cammy she is six months old and she's a little bit hangry at the minute so i'm gonna put her down next to me and she's gonna have her body <laughs> <laughs> Let me sort the baby out and we'll dive on in. So now it's just you and me. I did just want to mention that this video is s <laughs> sponsored. <laughs> I wish this video was inspired by Home with Shan. I love watching her content and I want to start to do more kind of like videos like she does, like the vlogs and videos like this. So yeah, um, I did just want to mention that that's where I got the inspo from and I will leave Home With Shan's channel linked down below so you can go check out her channel. Right, let me get me notes up. We're gonna start off with a banger. This is from Dustin. The first thing that he wished that he knew before having a child is that when they come out, they look dead. <laughs> because, you know, they're like purple, they're not moving and yeah. So when I was in labor, and you know, she was coming out, Dustin thought, oh my God, she's dead. Because he didn't know that they come out looking like that, you know? So dads, beware. You can actually see in the birth vlog when Dustin thinks this, cause he's just like, he's just, you can just see the panic in his face. God, it's just written all over his face. The second thing that we'd wish we'd have known is the cost of childcare. Um, how do we get these prices? <laughs> you basically, when I go back to work, I'm basically going to be working to fund childcare and then get a little bit extra, but then after tax. Yeah, I mean, the cost of childcare is, ugh. Unfortunately, we don't live near my mum because then she would happily take Cammy and basically be our childminder. But unfortunately, we don't. So we're gonna have to either put her into nursery, but nursery is more expensive. So when I was a child, I went to a childminder and I loved it. So maybe we can find her a nice childminder. I mean, I don't know how people afford to have like three kids in childcare. Like, oh my God insane and i can completely see why people don't go back to work and just look after the baby because the cost of childcare is expensive in my area i think it's about 60 pounds a day for a nursery and then for a childminder you could get them for like 35 pounds we're gonna have to wing it and see what happens and i'm sure it will all pan pan out plan out pan out <laughs> <laughs> Let's do another one for Dustin. The third thing that Dustin wished that he'd have known is that you can't do boom boom for a long time after birth. So as you know, when they come out of there, it goes through a lot. I think we waited three months and then, you know, you got to ease back in because <laughs> it's like a train wreck down there. Mm. But it's actually surprising. Everything goes back to normal. That's something Dustin would have wished that he'd known. <laughs> of course, typical bloke. <laughs> the fourth thing that I'd wish I'd have known before having a child is that having a baby doesn't need to be expensive. There are ways that you can cut costs when having a child. Like for example, buy secondhand stuff. A baby doesn't know whether they're getting something brand new or secondhand. I mean, there is nothing wrong with buying secondhand. I mean, go on Facebook Marketplace. You can find these items for dirt cheap because, you know, a baby grows out of things fast. And it's amazing what you can get, even at the charity shop. You can get some bargains. Yeah, you don't have to go to a shop and spend like 50 pounds on a chair. I mean, go buy one secondhand for like a fiver or a tenner, get it home, wash it, you know, clean it, make sure it's nice. And once it's had a good clean, it's absolutely fine. Save your money for experiences. 
not items because right. the fifth thing that i'd wish i'd have known before having a child is that you can easily over buy so much stuff that you don't need. Luckily, I am the kind of person where I look at something and I'm like, do I really need that? And I like question it. So I haven't really bought too much stuff that I ha haven't needed for her. But like I see videos and whatnot of things that other people buy. I'm like, oh my God, you've got so much stuff. You do realize we've been having babies since the beginning of time. Back then, they didn't need <laughs> nappy warmers. <laughs> They didn't need Tommy Tippy prep machines. They didn't need a room temperature monitor. They didn't need a bath temperature monitor. They didn't need a special jug to wash their hair in the bath. Go get a cup out of your cupboard. Or do what we didn't use a ladle. The baby industry is a big industry. They want you to go and buy, buy, buy because they want your dollar bills. <laughs> Which I don't blame them. I'd also like to get a share of you know this million billion dollar industry there are so many things that you can get by without just do it the old-fashioned way i mean it is easy to know if you put your wrist in the baby's bath water if it's too hot or too cold or in the room temperature like use yo mama or papa <laughs> instinct i mean we've got it for a reason you don't need all of these things just Use common sense. This one is from Dustin. The sixth thing, the sixth thing that we'd wish we'd have known before having a child is that, sure it's hard work, but it's actually really fun. So I think we only had one person basically say to us, this is gonna be the best time of your lives, it's amazing, da da da. Everyone else kind of brings up the negative side like, oof your life's gonna change oh you know you, your life's never gonna be the same again oh you're not gonna have any time anymore da -la 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 -la. the positives far outweigh the negatives and i mean you can make it fun you've got to laugh at the bad time because it'll pass especially with your first child you don't know what you're doing you are learning on the daily what works what doesn't work going somewhere it's more adventurous because you're like you're not <laughs> You've got to weigh a baby into the equation, yeah? This one we already knew, but I think it's something that people should be aware of. So the seventh thing that we'd wish we'd have known is that you and your partner need to be a great team. This is going to be a very hard time in your life and both of you are going to need to put in 100%. You've got to be there, you know, when I need a break and you need to be there when your partner needs a break. And you've really got to know your partner to be like, okay, I can tell they just need a break right now and you can take over. I think it's something that some people overlook. They're just like, oh my God, this is going to be fantastic. You know, we're going to be parents, but I mean, it is going to be a tough time. And yeah, make sure you've got the same values and whatnot, because it's going to make your experience a whole lot easier. The eighth Eighth thing that I'd wish I'd have known before having a child is that breastfeeding is hard and there's a lot more to it than I could have ever imagined. It's not just a case of, okay, we'll flop your boob out. If they latch, they latch. If they don't, they don't. We managed for three months, but then it just became like, she had a four milk, hind milk imbalance. So she was just basically, her, her feeds got dramatically shorter. So it went from like, you know, maybe a 20 minute thing to like five minutes. So she was just getting all like the sugary stuff and then it was causing her tummy pain. So it just wasn't working for us. You know, you could persevere and like pump and things like that, but then you also got to think of your mental health. Some days you just need an easy day, you know? Mastitis, I also got that within, with like the first week or so because I obviously wasn't getting enough milk out and then it, yeah, caused an infection. So yeah, there's a lot to breastfeeding. I was one of those people, I didn't really do any research before having a baby, so <laughs> I wouldn't have known that. But yeah, just get a little bit of knowledge on it, you know, just, yeah. <laughs> this this one's from Dustin, it's a long one. So the ninth thing, oh, this is not really something, okay, I don't know if this is something that Dustin would have wished that he'd known, but he says, mothers experience so much social pressure to be this perfect mother, which just doesn't exist. You got to help support her becoming the mother she is meant to be, not the mother she is pressured to be. 
I think he it he is right. There's this, you know, social thing where you need to be this perfect parent and you know, this baby is now your everything and da 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 and you need to put the baby first, but you've you've also gotta put yourself first. I mean, there are some days when you are just gonna be so pissed off with the baby, you're just gonna be like, please go to sleep. <laughs> But what do you expect? Like you're having disrupted sleep and you're tired, you're exhausted, and you just need a break. So you just need <laughs> that be it's going on. <laughs> there are some days when you're just gonna need a break. Don't feel like you're a bad parent because you need a break from your child. Like that is normal. Who wants to spend every second of every day with someone? Even though you're so cute. <laughs> And I probably could. <laughs> but you know, it's nice to go and have some new time, even if it's just 20 minutes. Go and have a bath. Or go to the shop. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> we got nine. Are we serious? Well, that was kind of nine. I think that was just more of an advice one from Dustin. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for a number 10. The 10th. Thing that I'd wish I'd known before becoming a mother is that babies do not need thousands and thousands of pairs of clothes. Literally, the next baby I have, I'm gonna be buying like six vests, six zip-up onesies, and that's it. Because that's just all they live in. And you know, you can go buy all these cute outfits and whatnot, but half the time it's just so much easier just to put them in a onesie and not every baby is gonna be sick all the time and have explosions where they need to get changed like eight times a day but yeah i bought way too many clothes you know it was also just the excitement i guess when you have your first child it's like oh my god and you see something cute and you're like yes please i mean so i don't regret buying clothes i mean because i got it from the charity shop at like 10 items for a pound i probably would be a little bit pissed off if i paid like 10 pound for one outfit but I didn't do that so <laughs> we didn't lose that much money she's cranky 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 crankiest lady ever <laughs> those are the 10 things that we'd wish we'd known before becoming parents if you are pregnant just know that it's gonna be the most amazing experience ever they are really just a little bundle of joy <laughs> yes, <laughs> and she likes to fly. <gasps> She's crazy. So that is all for today's video. If you did like today's video, don't forget to like and <gasps> oh, subscribe. <gasps> or else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. <gasps> Bye! <laughs>